Okay, so as you can see in the website, one of the last things to do is the featured listings here. So it's kind of just like a block of gray and we need to make sure that we have our featured listings up. So for the featured listings, you have two options. Um, you can either remove this section altogether if you don't have any, but what I recommend doing is leaving it. And if you don't have any listings yet, what you can absolutely do is ask someone in your office if you can like borrow a listing. Okay. And what you do is you just ask them permission. And if they give you permission, you can just say, Hey, I just want to put it, um, to market your listing and to promote your listing and make sure that it gets as much exposure as possible. Do you mind if I add it to my website? And typically they'll say yes, because they want as much exposure as possible. Okay. So that's what I would do if you don't have any listings. So let's go ahead and jump into the back end of WordPress so that I can show you how to do the listing section. So first and foremost, um, if we go to appearance and then we go back to our widgets area, I'll show you how to, to manipulate this area. Three. Okay. Perfect. In front page three is where you have the ability to go ahead and delete this. And you would also have to delete this as well. So you would delete both of these in order to not have that anymore. But again, I recommend that you actually do use it and um, I think it'll be beneficial for you. So I'm going to keep it as is, and I'm going to minimize this and of course minimize this as well. So on the front page, if I go to this turkey trail and just click on it here, you can see that there's no image here, but it says featured listing. And it's kind of cool because it has like all of this information. It gives you a map of the property and an opportunity for people to contact you about the property as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, edit this page to, you know, make sure that we are using this to its full advantage. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit listing. All right. So let's just go through this one by one. Okay. So you would have your listing description right here and you have your property details. Um, you have a map of the property and then you have a contact me about the property. Okay. So you would put obviously your whole entire listing description would go right here. And then for property details, you get that from here. So you can see that they've done the price, MLS number, square foot, um, square feet, bedrooms, bathrooms, etc. Um, zip code. And then same thing with the map. Um, they've actually included the map here as well. So you can see that it says property map and they're getting the information from right here. Now this is directly from Google. It's super simple. All you do is you go to Google and then you would type in any address that you want up here. I just did like a dummy address. And then if you click share, Google actually gives you the opportunity to embed a map. So all you would do is just copy this HTML code, it's it's very simple. And then when you go back to the page, you would just paste it right here, okay? And then same thing, you could even do a YouTube video and the YouTube video operates the same exact way. There's an opportunity for you to just share the video and then embed it and then you would paste it right here. And if I click send a text editor, you can see it says property video, okay? So I wanna make sure that this goes to property map. Okay, perfect. We're good to go. Now we did, opted not to use the gravity forms. Um, we decided to use WP forms because gravity forms is actually a paid option, but WP forms is actually a free option. And I really like WP forms. So I'm going to remove that form ID and we'll actually just create a little form of our own. Okay. So again, super simple. Let me show you how to do that real fast. So on the left-hand side, we, you should see now WP forms because we added that as a widget, um, a plugin in the very, very beginning of this tutorial. So I just clicked on add new and then let's just give it a name. I'm just going to do contact form and create a simple contact form. Okay. So we're just going to edit the contact form really quickly. So where it says name, I just clicked on like the name part right here. And we're gonna go to simple so that it's like the full name and we're gonna make it required. And then I'm go, gonna go to advanced options and see how it's a little bit short right here. I'm gonna make this so it's large. So it goes all the way to the edge. Same thing with email. I am going to click on advanced options. I'm gonna do large and then I am gonna go to fields and I'm gonna click add field and I'm gonna do number. 
So we've added a phone number here. So I'm just gonna drag this up and I'm gonna title this phone. I'm gonna make it required. Actually, I'm gonna put mobile phone. Advanced options, I'm gonna make it large so it goes all the way to the edge. And then comment or message, uh, I'm gonna make this so it's, um, it's required as well. And then we're gonna do large so it goes all the way to, um, it makes it just a little bit bigger here. So we're good to go here. All right, so let's just make sure we're saving along the way. Now for settings, you can go to, um, you know, manipulate the name of the form and the description of the form and everything. For the submit button, um, submit is fine. And we're good to go here. So notifications. Now it's gonna automatically go to the um, admin email, which should be the only email that's on file. But if you wanted to tag someone else, you absolutely could. So you would just do, you know, hello at honeybarmedia.com um, and to add a separate address. And if you click on the mouse here, it says you can um, do multiple notifications as long as you separate the email addresses with a comma, all right? So if you have like an assistant or something else, you can, or a team, you absolutely can like do commas for all of your team members so that you make sure everyone gets it. Now it says um, the subject line is going to say new entry contact form. If you want to change that, you absolutely can. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to say new website contact request, something like that. So it's a little bit more descriptive, especially if you're sending it out to your team members. Um, and then you don't need to change anything right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And confirmation. So this is what happens when they submit the form and you can do this really simply. You can redirect them somewhere else or you can show a different page. But what I like to do is just keep it on message and just say, um, you know, thanks for contacting us. We'll be in touch with you very shortly. And that's it, okay? So the last step is to click embed and we have a little code here. So I'm gonna copy. And we're gonna go back over and we're just gonna click paste. So if someone wants to contact us, that's how they're gonna do it, okay? Now, um, you don't really need to, to worry about anything else too much here. I am going to do remove featured image and we're gonna go ahead and set a featured image. Now what I did was I went to Canva and that same little, um, you know, graphic file that I had before, I just added a couple new pages. And again, these are just stock photos. So I downloaded page four, page five, and then page six, so that that way I could do, make this tutorial a little bit faster. So I'm gonna go to set featured image, and then I'm gonna go to upload files because I just need to upload them. So I'm gonna go to downloads, and then here they are. I'm gonna drag them on in. Okay, so now that they're uploaded, I'm gonna go ahead and click on, let's just say this one, picture of the couch here. And it's always a good idea to title it with the type, the, the name of the property is. So like one, two, three, four, turkey trail or whatever they titled it, <laughs> turkey trails. Okay, so I'm gonna do the title here and then I'm gonna do it once again in the alt text, okay? Not a big deal if, it, if you don't do that, but it's always good practice. Okay, so let's preview it. Awesome, so we have this nice big photo here, um, and then we have like the title that goes here, the description, property details. Um, I'm gonna delete these additional features, by the way. But we have the property map, and then of course, if we wanted the video, we could do the video right below that, and if someone wants to contact you, they can just enter their contact details right there. So that looks pretty slick. Uh, let me show you how to delete the additional features because um, I don't want you to have to keep up with all of this stuff. Like, I, I wanna make this as simple for you as possible. So let's go ahead and delete these on the right-hand side, just like that. And let's update. And then go to preview changes. Okay, perfect. And so all of that is gone now. So that looks pretty, pretty good. It's super simple. So um, the other thing is that when I go to the homepage now, I should be able to see that one of them has been filled in. So here we go. Here's one of them filled in right here. So I'm just gonna do the same thing for Denton and West Park Drive. And uh, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm gonna go to listings. And we're gonna just edit this one real quick. 
And what I'll do is I'll just do the photos so it'll be a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna remove these guys. And actually, I wanna make sure that we also do the WP form, so. Okay, and then remove featured image, set featured image, and then let's do this. Update. And then finally, I'm gonna go to listings. And then we're gonna do the last one, which is here. And then remove these little guys, replace the contact form. And I just like doing that so in case you're ever like duplicating pages or anything, you you always know that you're duplicating the right thing. Set featured image, and then let's just do a quick this one. Set featured image. Perfect, so let's update. Now I'm gonna go back to the home page. And there you go. So that looks pretty slick. A very, very last step that I'm gonna do here is where it says featured listings, um, I don't really like that language that much. I wanna make it a little bit more fun. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go back to, let's see here. I wanna go where the widgets are. So I'm gonna go to appearance and then widgets. And then I think it was widget three. Yeah, featured listings. Okay, I'm gonna change this to hot properties. And then let's see when we refresh what happens. Hot properties, awesome. So I really like that. I think um, I think it's great. I mean, this is pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, we have one more step, which is to update the search for homes feature, but we are well on our way. So congratulations, like you almost have a fully functional website. So I'm so super excited for you. All right, uh, I'm gonna see you in the next 